how do you turn a blah room into a wow room with the flip of a switch? Lighting. The way a space is illuminated affects the way we feel in it, how easy it is to live and work there. We're at Phillips Lighting today talking with the experts about all the technological advances in the field and how to incorporate all those advances into our home design. I'm with Todd Manigold, who specializes in home lighting products here at Philips. Let's just dive right in. There have been so many technological advances in lighting. Where do we begin? Previously, there were incandescent lighting. You had CFLs or compact fluorescents, and now there's LED. The LED gives people a lot of choice. You could be about light levels or color temperature or even look and feel, and now you're, you're given the freedom to actually do more with lighting. All right, let's talk a little bit about temperature because we hear it a lot when we're talking about lighting, but most of us have no idea yeah. what it means. When you walk into a restaurant and you see that really sort of orangish warmth, that's really warmer color temperatures and that, that's the best sort of visualization of that. Whereas if you walk outside and you have that really bright, sunny daylight, that's what a daylight lamp would feel like. When you're going to choose bulbs to go in your existing fixtures, is there a way to look at them and say, well, this is gonna give me a warmer color or this is gonna give me a cooler color? Some of the retailers have different color codes. Look on the back of the, of the package and you'll see a, a nutritional label called the Lighting Facts label, which gives you a, a nice perspective. The lower the number, the warmer the color temperature, the higher the number, the more blue it is. And what about the ones where you can can change the color of the bulb from cool to warm and back to cool in the same hour. That's really when you start to get into smart lighting. So we have a product here at Philips called Philips Hue, which gives you the ability to control it with your phone and set it to whatever color temperature or setting you like for whatever function you're doing, whether it's working at home, relaxing with a glass of wine, or getting ready for bed. We actually had a person have the lights turn color every morning for his grandmother to remind her to actually take her medicine. And it's those really practical use cases that, again, bring light to a different level. Energy efficient light bulbs. Can you talk to me about where LEDs fit into that? You can save up to 85% energy if you're comparing it against a 60 watt light bulb. Once you actually replace your lighting with, a, with LED, you're gonna have those lights in there for 20 to 25 years. I'm here with Wendy Cruz Gonzalez, who is a lighting designer at Illumination Arts. The technology advances in lighting are remarkable, but it can be a little overwhelming. And sometimes I feel like, oh, you need a master's degree, which I know you have a master's degree. So help me wade through all of these advances in lighting technology. Where do you start? What are the basics? You have to start and be able to identify the problems in the room. Do I have daylight? Do I have electric light? Um, what kind of controls can I put in the room? If you don't know the basic of your room, you really are not going to be able to explore on how far you can take the design. Interior designers are often talking about layering, rugs and sofas and throw pillows. Is the approach similar with lighting? Yes, it's exactly the same thing. I mean, when we're approaching a lighting design project, we want to think of three words. Accent lighting, we want to have uh, task lighting, and we also want to have ambient lighting. We use all of these components in order to create a more flexible space. When we talk about task lighting, does that mean what you're using the room for? Exactly. We're looking for what kind of tasks and what kind of functions we want to have happen in the room. In a kitchen, we need to have extra lighting over the countertops. We may need to have extra lighting over the sink. But when we go into our work office, we need lighting you know, near the desk. We need to be able to see you know, the papers and the filing and everything else that's in the room. What is accent lighting? Accent lighting is when we provide added illumination into something in our room that we want to focus and we want to highlight. Lighting is a visual storyteller. Without lighting, there's really no story to tell. Then we can layer more things in using table lamps, um, using floor lamps, and sometimes using uh, lights to give you a little bit more task lighting. Those are things that you can add in. This is how you get to personalize your space, and that's something that we should never forget to do in our own homes. At the end of the day, the lighting at home is really about how you feel. And I don't know about you, but when I look bad, I feel bad. And when I look better, I feel better. 